nice to have uh, WWV back on 25 megahertz. Signs of uh, propagation, improving propagation on IO frequencies. Also, uh, it's starting this time of year. Usually, that I hear it, but I hear it more often in the past uh, few uh, in the past few weeks, thanks to uh, the uh, higher solar flux. Let's check out if it's on 20 megahertz. Also, it's not as strong on 20 megahertz, and it is on 15. Also, noisier on 15. Really, the uh, Best frequency is 25 right now. If you uh, want to QSL, take the time to do so. The 25 megahertz frequency is known as experimental for uh, WWV. So it's been actually going on for a few years now, uh, at least five or six years. And you know, we regularly get reports people saying, oh, well, they're not on 25. Yes, they are. They are because they came back. They left 25 megahertz in the late 70s, I believe, but have come back in the last five, six years. And so um, take the time to QSL if you want. It's nice to have a QSL in the frequency range. We don't hear a lot of stuff that can be QSL'd. And this, of course, helps uh, uh, for them to know that 25 is actually being heard everywhere but also because it's experimental you never know when it can actually uh, leave 25 megahertz when you hear 25 megahertz it's important to note that it's nice to tune around higher frequencies especially on the top part of the 25 megahertz range uh, 25 900 um, it's kind of nice to check out if you hear anything here unusual there are some FM relays that are here from some of the US radio stations so sometimes you might want to actually hear or you might actually receive something that is unusual and of course you can put yourself in sideband and uh, in upper sideband you'll be able to tune around for any out of band CB ears that might be in here, so that's something to check out. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there, but um, do tune when you hear 25 megahertz, do tune around everywhere as uh, uh, you'll be surprised at what you can hear actually in the uh, higher frequency ranges. <laughs> 